Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene just a few moments ago, predictably loud and raucous here at Arrowhead as their beloved Chiefs took field, and they are set to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, happy to be with you. And, CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical, who wins up front, who runs the ball the best and controls the clock, they will come out the victor. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. Under center, it'll be the former UCLA Bruin, Josh Rosen. In the 2018 draft, there's a lot of debate about who was the best quarterback, but there was no debate about who the best thrower was out of the group. It was Josh Rosen, able to deliver short, long, medium, with touch, throw the deep ball, you name it, he's got it in his arsenal. Throw on first down with Josh Rosen. And this one complete to Jermaine Gresham. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a gain in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Second down, Johnson. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Only a yard on the game there, and that'll set up third and 13. And here are the offensive starters for Arizona. David Johnson's play has forced us to talk about him as one of the premier running backs in the NFL. Good size, so he can run inside and break through some tackles. Also has excellent speed, so he can get to the perimeter, turn the corner, and make it into a big game but he also relies on the fact that he was a college wide receiver at one point, and they can utilize him both out of the backfield and in the slot back position in order to get downfield and catch the football. Third and long here for Rosen. Screen play, Johnson. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. On fourth down, here's Andy Lee on to kick it away. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. Go 
Here's a carry for the fullback. That's Anthony Sherman. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Give the tackle to Hassan Reddick. Good solid gain on first down. About what you'd expect from the big guy carrying the ball. throwing on second down and this one caught by Travis Kelsey and he'll be brought down it looks like right at the 15. It's a seven yard gain there and it's good enough to move the chains. I think defensively you're okay with that you're in the first quarter he's going to get some catches but they rallied to him quickly and that's what you count on and I like what you just said first quarter can you do it all game long. They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue 45. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. This is complete to Watkins on the slant. Takes this one up past the 20 after he's able to make a man miss. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Ready! Green, 39! Green! Now Mahomes on the bootleg. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Takes the give from Mahomes. And now running right through it. And this will go for five up to the 33. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They go play fake. Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. There he goes right side. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 67 yards. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. So the drive there took six plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. 
And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Cardinals' offense now works their way back onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Rosen and the Cardinals take over with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Rosen on first and 10. Got a man open. It's Ricky Seals-Jones. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. And a glance now at the Chiefs' defense. Justin Houston is an elite edge pass rusher, and he has the speed to get upfield quickly, and offensive tackles have to respect that. But also, he has great hands. Ability to get their hands away from his body and then make a move either inside or outside to get to the quarterback. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now let's go. Blue lining. Blue lining. Now Rosen to throw on second down. And that is incomplete here. The coverage good that time by Kendall Fuller. We talk all the time about playmakers on offense, but let's face it, there are plenty of playmakers on defense, too. I think we just saw an example of one, didn't we? Not force that incompletion. Yeah, he's a great corner. They got a couple of them on that side of the football. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. God, here's Josh Rosen. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. on first down open man is Kirk complete and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50 12 yards on back-to-back -back plays there and that's another first down well if you do read man coverage Brandon the drag routes a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Hey, up, here we go. Blue lining. Blue lining. On first down, it's Rosen. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Larry Fitzgerald was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Set, three, 19. They'll run it now out of the gun. Flashy little move, but unable to reach the 40. The all-pro Justin Houston in on the tackle. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger right, runs go. later. Blue on third down, Rosen. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. 
But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Rosen on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A very solid gain of 27. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. The Cardinals into the red zone for the first time. They've got it first and goal at the seven. Now let's go. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? On second down, here's Rosen. Dumping it off for Johnson. And a pretty little juke move there, but not a ton to show for it afterwards as he's brought down. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. So it's third and goal now, and this is where the Arrowhead crowd can make it very tough. Here we go now. now the first carry for Chase Edmonds, and he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Chase Edmonds taking it in from two yards out, and the Cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Here's Phil Dawson now for the point after. Dawson able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This will be taken in at the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense at Tumman. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. 
Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 right at the 30. Now Mahomes. Flushed out right. Holding offense. So a decent game. Still first for not on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Under a minute to go. Clock running at a back and forth first quarter of play. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. And down he'll go at the 25. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Mahomes to throw on second down. And he will find his man on the outside. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Now, prior to the snap, we hit all zeros as time has run out on the first quarter of play. It's a tight game here early, and we're back to Arrowhead after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. as the Chiefs in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. They're staring up at a third and nine to start it out. the gun it's Mahomes trying to fight his tight end Kelsey and it's intercepted picked off at the 39 and he is not quite gonna make it all the way in they'll mark him down right about the one yard line Kelsey the intended receiver there a great pick nice return but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in no doubt about it because he had visions of end zone in his mind gonna be the total hero but we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore bring it back get the yardage and really help out your offense The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. It's a quick turnaround for them after the turnover, but the way they moved it on their last drive, they're probably eager to get right back at it. And you know me and you know my tendencies in this situation. What do I want right now? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Take your shot right here. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Up, here we go. And we've got movement Three, by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. False start. Offense. Justin Pugh, the left guard that time with a flag. Still first down. Boy, they had it at the one. The full start moves it to the six now for first and goal. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Rosen will throw. 
Oh, and it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Here we go now. Boom, landed. To throw is Rosen. And he's taken down. A chief sack. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. So it's third and goal now, and this is where the Arrowhead crowd can make it very tough. From the gun, it's Rosen. Fitzgerald's got it right side. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes... You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And Dawson's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. After the field goal, here's Gonzalez to kick it off. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. Ready in this game, a touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Hey, hey. Here we go now. Green, 90. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one who has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And able to find Conley. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Mahomes now hitting on 80% of his passes in the early going. 8 of 10. It's first down. Here we go. Green 90. Green 90. And again, it's Mahomes. He gets it complete to Harris. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Here we go. Green 90. Green 90. Ah. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. That's it, baby. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert, but right now looking at a third and three. Here we go now. Throwing now is Mahomes. Trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by David Amerson. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. Well, what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here in the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position after a turnover. I feel like I might have them a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you, you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn it into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. Now let's go! Green, 39! And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. They had no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now let's go. 319. On second down, Rosen. It's complete to Williams. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. From the shotgun, it's Rosen. Going for the deep ball. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. J.J. Nelson, 51 yards. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. And Mantro, talking about singing something in there. Those gloves, they help with one-handed catchers. The fun stuff, any padding for a rocket like that? 
One would think so, but I'll guarantee you this, after that throw, his hands will hurt later. Not right now in the moment. He's just feeling good about catching it. Yeah, a little stinger, but a touchdown. Now Dawson for the extra point. Dawson tacks on the point after, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. Spencer Ware and the rest of his offense retaking the field. You can count his carries on one finger. They've only given him the rock one time, Charles. What gives? So we can't draw any conclusions just yet. He has to touch the ball multiple times in order to get into a rhythm and have a chance to have success. You know who else gets into a rhythm? The offensive line. They feel better about what they're doing when they know they've had multiple opportunities to get it done. Yeah, well, the conclusion we can draw so far, they're losing here in the second quarter. Let's see if they change tunes. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. We go. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. But in tapping those toes, he tried to get both in bounds. He could not do it, though. In tap dance parlance, could not complete the shuffle. All right, needed to get that shuffle down with both <laughs> feet, not just one. Is that what they say? There it is. You know, put a little sand down on the stage. <laughs> I'll take your word for it, my man. And an alley to run. Flush to his right. And they're able to get this one across the 35. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Certainly making his presence felt in both the pass and the run game. He's having an impact. Yeah, and his first carry of the game right there. He had hurt him with his arm. Now he's showing that he can shuffle the puppies as well. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here we go now. Green, 39. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And an alley to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Ready, green, 90, green, 90. Cut. Mahomes now to throw. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. Back-to-back -back gains of 17, and they are really on the march now. It's a first down. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. here on first down caught Kelsey left side and he's brought down but not before he reaches the eight yard line 23 yards on the play 
There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here we go. Green, 90. Now Green, whistles 90. and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. All start offense. And that'll set them back five. Still first down. That false start knocks them back behind the 10 now as they'll try again, first and goal. Here we go, blue 45, blue 45. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation, but sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. Josh Rosen and company getting set for their next possession. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Three down, three down. Here we go, there. They begin the drive with Johnson. <laughs> And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. So the previous play, a big help, as now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. Four down, four down. Hurry up, here we go. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And he'll push forward for about four up to the 23. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. to throw on second down. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and six. Set. Green, 39. Green. Here's Rosen to throw. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. I know where we're headed on this. Terrific catch. Gets his feet down. Sets up a fourth down and short situation. But I bet we're wondering, why didn't he get to the first down marker running his route? Am I correct? You got to know where the marker is, right? Got to figure it out. I know every receiver has taught that. Sometimes circumstances change it. At least they have an opportunity to make a decision with not much yardage to go. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Spencer Ware, the rest of his offense, retaking the field. And a lot of times you talk about establishing the ground game 
probably something they need to do more of here losing in the second quarter. When you're riding your best horse, you've got to lather him up. The best running backs I've ever talked to, they've all said the exact same thing to me. I'll even break a good sweat until I get to 20 carries. You're full of good wisdom. Let's see if they can get him into the game more now. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Arrowhead after this. Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime previews. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. But, you know, writing down your ad -libs. If you print it, I'm going to read it. <laughs> I'm Brandon Gaudin. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. On second down, here's Mahomes. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. And now here's a timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. Green, green, 39. Green, 39. They'll hand it off now. Williams. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage. 17 on the play. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Mahomes now on first down. Oh, he stays up, but he can't get away forever, and down he goes. Josh Bynes. Able to get him down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of a yard. Hot, hot, hot. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. And he's going to go down again. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from Mahomes and company. On the ground, this is where. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. And now the Cardinals going to use another timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Thank <laughs> you. 
On fourth down, on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. Back deep, the dangerous Farrow Cooper. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes Josh Rosen in the Cardinals offense back onto the field. He's got to be feeling pretty good. Playing well. Team has the lead, so just looking to mount a drive here that ends in the end zone. And all quarterbacks will tell you, hey, we love a running game, helps us out. But at the end of the day, they want to rely on their arm, throw the football, feel good about things, keep things moving in the right direction. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we'll see if that continues. Here we go now. Green 39. They'll look to throw on first down with Josh Rosen. And this one is incomplete. He was looking for Chad Williams. And now it's second down. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That yeah, came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Again from the 20 after the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Here we go now. Off the play fake. Here's Rosen. Looking for Fitzgerald, and it's intercepted. He's picked off just shy of midfield. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Spencer Ware, the rest of his offense, retaking the field. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement. Down on the scoreboard, maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. Well, they haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and ten. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And that's incomplete. Oh, Patrick Peterson, the shutdown corner, was there on the coverage. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home. And they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here we go. Green, 39. Now whistles Green, and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. False start. Offense. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Still second down. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Here we go now. Green, 90. Now Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target. And that'll make it third down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. They'll run it now out of the gun, and he'll take this one up close to about the 45. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field.
Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Fifteen seconds, all that remains for this first half as they come up first and ten. Set! Blue lining! Blue lining! Ah! The first down carry here for Johnson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Cardinals out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well, as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. And he's looking to take much better care of the football here in half two after three first half interceptions. We don't have to just look strictly at the numbers here. You know what else happens to a team when you turn it over three times like that? It erodes confidence in you. And it erodes confidence in the offense. And now you have the defensive guys looking over and saying, what is going on here? And instead of playing for the team, they're playing angry and mad at their teammates. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 34. They start the second half here with Williams. They yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Mahomes to throw on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. 
throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Williams and nothing doing he's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage credit the tackle to DJ Swearinger no gain on that run and while this team is down they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going They go play action. Now Mahomes. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick. And it's third down. Trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just has, you know, bad info and intel before he snaps the ball. But he's made some pretty bad decisions with the football lately. He has several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown. And frankly, that should have been another pick right there. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. And we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, Let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, yeah. we've got, we got, got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That one goes for 24 yards. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here we go now. 319. 319. On first down, it's Rosen. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here we go now. 319. Throwing now. Rosen on first down. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here we go now. 
They'll hand it off now. Johnson. And he stopped immediately there. Allen Bailey in on the stop. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no game. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short, definitely was a great time to dial one up. Two first downs have them up to the 41 now for first and 10. Johnson. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. time not quite to the 30 it'll be down at the 31 yard line only a gain of a yard there but it indeed gets him a new set of downs second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down but sometimes you just don't want to break tendency stay with what you are stay with who you know and go get the first down that's exactly what they did line of scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10 Now Edmonds, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Again, they run with Edmonds. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Four down, four down. Here we go now. Boom, They'll run it now out of the gun. And they've got it inside the ten at the eight. Eleven more yards that go around. A first down as well. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Complete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. 
Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Out of the gun, here's Josh Rosen. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. All right, Captain. It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. So it's third and goal now, and this is where the Arrowhead crowd can make it very tough. Set! 3 19! 3 19! From the gun, it's Rosen. This will be caught at about the six. A gain of five, but not enough. Leads to a fourth and goal. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet. Get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. And Dawson's kick is good. And that will open the lead up now to 20-7. to seven. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. After the field goal, here's Gonzalez to kick it off. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 27. Here's Mahomes to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Corey Peters coming up the middle, gets him there for a loss of about nine. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Throwing now is Mahomes toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time, and it's third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here we go now. On third and long, it's Mahomes. He's going to look deep down the field. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. And a big 32-yard play on third. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred. Still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. 
if things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player out on the field. You still carry that supreme arrogance with you and continue to fire the ball. I've seen guys have games like this, and this is where you find out if you're great or not. Can you overcome some interceptions and still lead your team to victory? And the coach has decided to challenge this play. He has tossed down the red flag. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident, and then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. Ready, green. Now Williams running left. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Here we go now. Green, 90. Green, 90. Again, it's Williams. And he's got this down to the 35. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On first down, Mahomes. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. On second down, Williams. And an alley to run. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. giving to wear on the draw. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is a well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. The Chiefs on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This will be third and six. 
Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Mahomes now to throw, and it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense, when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Everybody, green, 90. Mahomes going to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Chris Conley from three yards out. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Butker now to add the extra point. Extra point right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. This to me, he's got to take over right now by word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. Rosen on first and ten. And Gresham has it left side. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. What well, may seem a little unorthodox to some people, got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Hurry up, here we go. Blue lining. Blue lining. 
They'll run it with Johnson. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, that looked like an example of what you said back in the first half. A running back of his size can really wear down a defense. I think he's starting to do that. I think you're exactly right. And know what else he's doing? He's inspiring the rest of his team because they see this starting to happen as well. So that means they're going to redouble their efforts to help him out. Extra blocking, getting downfield, helping him out. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Three, three down, three down. All right, here we go. 3 19. 3 19. Now Rosen on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Fitzgerald. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now let's go! 319! From the shotgun, it's Rosen. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Johnson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Here we go now. On second down, Rosen. Screenplay, Johnson, and he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. He lost two there, and it's third down. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying it is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try to pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. He's got his man. It's Williams. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now let's go! Green 39! Green 39! Ah. Rosen will throw. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Here we go now. Three, nine. Again, it's Rosen. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. 
Get your backs to the goal line. I can hear my high school coach right now. This is when force meets force. Got to be physical in order to win this battle. <laughs> yeah, that's where the physicality pays off. A nice job forcing the contact and forcing the incompletion. Yeah, Coach Ford would have loved that play. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. Go, the crowd getting Bring into it, it as we come Bring up on a big go. third down. They want to go to the air again with Rosen. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Christian Kirk, a five-yard touchdown. And the Cardinals will extend their lead. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt-away-the-game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run-pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. and will lead him up here to go for two. Three, 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 three. Throwing again, it's Rosen. Underneath for Johnson. And he is not going to get in there. He stops short of the goal line, and the lead is going to stay right where it is. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free, and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a bead on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here we go now. Green, 90. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he checks this one down to Williams. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. A gain of four on the play, and that'll make this a second down. Short play like that in this situation this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. Coming to you, coming to you. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Second and six, just inside the 30. Here we go now. Green, 90. Now the 
Mahomes throwing on second down. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Hill. That catch good for five. It's third down. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. They need just a yard here. It's third and here one. Go now. Green, third and nine. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Hunt, hunt, hunt. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch. Is the arm there? The leg's still there. This has been a tough game. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Here we go now. Blue 45. Williams. Blue 45. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Green! Green, 39! Green, 39! Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31. Defensively rallying to the ball after the nice move. And again, it's Mahomes. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And this is going to be incomplete. The well, touch and time here are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Hey, here we go now. Green, 90. Green, 90. Now the Holmes got to have this one. Muscles by at the 25. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. Mahomes now on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Green, green, 39. Green, 39. Now it's Mahomes again. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Hill. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case. Down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Here we go now. Green. 
They go play action here on first down. Oh, it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive. They had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys did not play offense. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Mahomes to throw once more. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The Booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Butker on for the PAT. The extra point splits the uprights, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. So with 40 seconds left, we'll see the onside kick. If they've ever needed one to go their way, it's now. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here i just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number kind of like when the coaches tell us well when you score on special teams 93 percent of the time you win the game i'm still waiting to see that number is empirical Johnson he's been busy this afternoon now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Here we go now. Green 39. Again, it's Johnson. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready.
The Cardinals on third down. Well, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This is third and eight. Hurry up, here we go. Boom, landing. On the ground, this is Johnson. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice and ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense. Yeah, this is a spot where you can learn a lot about a young quarterback. And that's why they brought him into the organization. Because you don't just bring them in strictly for their talent. You think that they have that something special in them that will allow them to function in these types of situations. Now's time for them to be clinical and not emotional. You know your play sequence. You know what has to get done. Get the ball to the right people. Get out of bounds and get it downfield and try and score. Yeah, he's trying to earn his stripes here for a winning drive. Back to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle. Kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green, 39. Uh -huh. He'll look to throw. On target over the middle of the hill. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the oh, face mask. First down. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they're marching off another 15 against your squad. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. Damian Williams, the man he was looking for. And it's second down. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to bow up. They executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early and then you kind of relax a little bit to step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Looks like they want to finish this one off. Green, 39. Green, 39. He's back to throw. And he's going to drop this off to Williams. Complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance.
So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.